goodness. What am I gonna do with you two? Th that, this, this is what I'm gonna do with you? You're gonna be so dirty. Well, good, wonderful, beautiful. Hi, I'm not chewable. Hi, morning, audience. Good morning, audience. Good morning, audience. You guys wanna hear the crazy story of what happened to me this morning? I'm gonna tell you. Change of scenery. I had to bring the dogs outside. They were begging to go out. So anyway, my story. So I went to Marshall's today. Tonight we have the big gala dinner and auction with Second Chance Animal Shelter, which don't worry, I'm taking you guys along. And actually, if you watched Gone to the Snow Dogs, you might have seen some of it already because I did a little video on that channel explaining what it was as well. But anyway, I went to Marshall's this morning to try to find a couple collared shirts. Jamie needed a few new shirts. I was looking for a new shirt for me. And uh, I lost my phone. And I don't mean like... I, I lost it. I had no idea where it was. I had I didn't have my watch, so I couldn't call it and make it ring on my own. I came home. Jamie started calling my phone. I went back. I couldn't find it. I came home again. Jamie came with me. We went back to the store. I thought I had set it down. I had a spam call, and I remember getting the spam call, and I remember pulling my phone out and setting it down. For some reason, I visualized that I set it down on, like, the racks of clothing. No, I set it down in the cart, and the little plastic part of the cart flopped over, and, uh, hid my phone so I couldn't find it. So needless to say, hi, how you doing? I found it. We went back and they had found it right when Jamie and I showed back up. Somebody had found it in the cart. It was so weird when I was going into the store after I had my phone or my watch, my watch wouldn't connect to the Bluetooth on my phone. And then I was freaking out thinking it wasn't there. So then we did the find my device thing and it showed it was at the Marshalls. So that was my fun running around and wasting a bunch of time trying to find my phone this morning. There's your reminder, don't set your phone down. Because I set my phone down, and then I lost it. Oh my goodness. What am I going to do with you two? Th that, this? This is what I'm going to do with you? You're going to be so dirty. I'm glad I didn't give any of you your baths yet. Not that it would have made any difference. But are you, what are you, just eating the grass? I thought you were digging a hole. No need the salad. She's like, hmm, Mom, I just wanted the salad. This, uh, this salad looks pretty good. I'm going to eat this salad. Memphis! Memphis is staring at an apple on the tree. Might have to go get her an apple off that tree. Hi, can I see your nose? Hey, can I see your nose? Look, right here, right here. Not, okay, that's really close. Here, Eleanor, I want to, uh, well, I was trying to look at your your nose. Hey, you can you hold still for two seconds? That's what I thought. Your nose is covered in the dirt. And Kira stole your hole while I distracted you. <laughs> She's like, and this hole is now mine. Oh, nope, it's back to Eleanor's. Now it's Eleanor's again, and then it'll be Kira's again, and then it'll be Eleanor's again, and you know, they're just doing their thing, digging their holes. Memphis is still staring. Memphis, would you like me to come? You're not supposed to have one yet. What if I give you an apple later? How about later? She's like, mm, now it sounds better than later. No, how about later? Memphis? Can you come supervise this hole, please? I don't think they know what they're doing. I think they need a supervisor, ma'am. Can you supervise them? They dug this hole, then they kind of lengthened it a little, and then they dug over there. I don't think they have any direction. Memphis, can you give them some direction? She's like, mm, no, not at all. Okay, what do I gotta do next? I gotta go take pictures because uh, it already went up, but we did a live stream where we dropped a bunch of Halloween stuff on our Etsy shop for the, oh, there she goes, whoa, for the 3D printing stuff, um, which you guys have probably already seen it. If there's anything left, it's left in the Etsy store. You should go check it out. But I'm gonna go do that now as I get ready to go to the dinner tonight. Like I said, don't worry, I'm taking you guys along with me. All right, girls, you're gonna chill here for a little bit and be good and we're gonna go to a dinner and go raise some money to save some more animals what do you think you know there's two perfectly good beds over here and that's where you want to be she was sitting there because i was sitting up there and kira was kind of taking up the whole couch so memphis couldn't get as close to me as she wanted to you i don't have any explanation for why you're over here <laughs> she's like because i'm cute and you know it you're right you are cute and i do know it Boop. <laughs> okay, you girls be good. And I think we're heading up to the dinner. So, this is the dinner and auction that we're here for. You can see our table right over there. You see Jamie there. And then this is what we're doing. So, the food and everything will be served here. There's drinks and stuff happening over there. 
And then these are all the silent auction items that people can bid on. So if you've never done one of these before, this is how it works. There's usually a starting bid and then bid increments. You can kind of do them however you want, but that is how you do that. And there's all kinds of cool stuff. Lots of people here doing all kinds of stuff. So then you go from the silent auction items to the live auction items. So these, I'll film some of this as this is happening as well, but these are like the bigger items. Lots of really cool stuff. Look at this cat tree. This is pretty cool. This is awesome. This is a handmade bar if you're a Detroit Lions fan. If this was a Red Wings on here, you know, might have to happen, but that is really cool. But there's a bunch of auction items, lots of people. So the way it usually works is you get in, they do all the silent auction, and then they do um, dinner, and then we do the live auction. That's usually how it works. I just thought it'd be cool if you guys had never been to one before. So th this is pretty cool. It's a Detroit Lions Afghan. This is some of the premium silent auction items. So some of the silent auction items are worth a little bit more. So they put them in a premium section. So the starting bid on these is higher. Look at how cute this couch is. Oh my goodness, is it a little kitty couch? Some pretty cool stuff for the premium silent auction items. And then there's more silent auction items. And this is basically what it is. Everybody walks around, says hi to each other, talks to each other, and bids on things. But like I said, when more action starts happening over here, I will definitely show you guys what's going on. Oh look, check this out, dog toy house with a bunch of stuff donated by all of us, you guys. We all donated this. So I had some extra dog toys and some things we've done some Amazon reviews for and I kept them and we put them in here. So there's like a snuffle mat and some treats and some other fun stuff in here. So let's see, right now, not too bad. So yeah, there's one we did. Oh, I talked about this guy. This is the first dog, technically the first dog in the shelter. We did have a couple dogs through Foster, but this is Chance and he's the first dog that's actually at the shelter. Our first shelter puppy. And some more fun live auction items. This is a cool idea. They actually auction off 10 of these and then at the end, one of the people that bought one of these wins that over there. That's a cool idea. This is another one that we did. Well, that one is here as well. So while the silent auction is winding down, they start getting ready for dinner. And the first thing they do to get ready for dinner is auction off the first table to eat. We are here to raise money after all. So they normally auction off the first three tables just for fun. And thanks to our amazing friend, we got to eat first this year. Yay! Everybody's eating dinner right now. I didn't get any clips of that, but everybody's having dinner. And now the silent auction is getting right in. Now it's the live auction part of everything. The audio's having issues, but you get the idea. Hey, look at us! So we are back from the auction, which was amazing. And look, Jamie got a surprise from our friend Nick. Look, hon, you got some stuff. Oh my goodness, hello! Hi, you're a surprise too. I'm not too honorable, ma'am. We were not gone that long. I love you. I know it was too long to be gone. She's like, oh my gosh, that was more than an hour. You were gone and I hated it. <laughs> wow, she's a jumping. So anyway, uh, this is one of the things that we brought home besides, you know, getting to be first to eat, which was pretty cool. Right. Yay, hockey gear. Yeah, this is pretty cool. It's a signed puck. That's pretty cool. I love this sign, too. Yeah. All I need is hockey and my dog. Like we could just too. add an S to it. <laughs> <laughs> that coffee cup is pretty. Yeah, it really is. I, like I love it. Cup. I haven't seen this, this one before, so that's pretty cool. And then, well, uh, <laughs> sorry, Kira. Yeah, just hold the bag. So we got this cool Mickey Mouse bag, Halloween we got, bag. We gotta find the zero. There's some stuff in there for you girls. Look at this zero. This isn't for you. That's for me. Does not. Does not for you. That's for you. There are some Tweetos in there. This no, this isn't for you either. But look, Second Chance Animal Shelter. Mm. Look, Witch's Brew. <gasps> Whoa! Don't drop the cup. <laughs> Kira's like, whoa, is, there's some either. snacks. No, that's for it's us. For that was all the fun stuff in the bag. So we came home with a few things and a lot of smiles. And that was the most important part. Good food, good friends, saving some animals. Hi, Kira. <laughs> Kira's like, what's going on? What's going on? Hi. Yes, I'll give you a treat. I will give you one. Okay. Cookie for you. Cookie for you. In Memphis, 
you're gonna think you got two cookies because I had to break it in half. You're still chewing and you don't chew at all. Even you're still chewing and yours is gone and you had two halves. So it's like, yeah, give me like 20 more, thanks. No, that's enough cookies. You got your cookies. I know, we were gone for a while. It was like three hours, you survived. I checked on you multiple times. <laughs> well, if you can't tell, it's the next day. We totally forgot to say goodnight last night, but holy cow, what a night. So we probably over 40, over $50,000 raised. We won't know the numbers, the total numbers for a few days because there is a little bit of cost involved in putting the event on as well. So there's the raising all the money, but then there's a little bit of cost to the caterers and there's a little bit of cost to the event. We do get everything at a discounted rate, which is nice because it's a nonprofit organization, but there's still a little bit of cost involved in that. So, but my guess is gonna be over 50,000. I'm pretty sure that's, that's my guess. We tried to keep tally of what was going on with some of the stuff throughout the night, see if we could figure out, ooh, what do we wanna guess and think it is? So that's my guess. Hopefully here in a few days, we'll have a little bit better of, a, of an estimate that we can share with you guys. But last night was amazing. It was so much fun. It was so much fun. Yeah, I know. But the, what? We're not going to see Miss Paula. I promise I will call her on Monday. She's like, but you're up and you're dressed and you're moving and it's early. Yeah, I know. It's because I got to go meet Nick and we're going to go tour the shelter together. But right now, we're going to go ahead and end today's video. So we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive. Dream big. And we will see you again soon. Are you going to yell at me? Yeah? Yeah, you are. You're mad, aren't you? You're frustrated? You're like, Mom, I want to go. I know you do. Maybe later we'll take you somewhere. All right, you guys, say goodnight, partying.